Hey, this is a wee quick video about calculating the size of an image. Now, two ways, okay, so there's two different types of questions, right? So, question number one, right? This is when you're given the dimensions of the image, but you're actually given it in pixels, okay? So, we'll say that is 400, we'll just say that's 200. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually work out the total number of pixels in the whole image. You then, the second thing is you want to work out size of image in bits. Then after that you can then work it out in bytes and kilobytes, whatever. Okay, so size of image in bits. Now, the only thing I'm missing there, we'll just make this, say it's 16 bit colour depth. Now, see this just means for every bit, right? So remember, if you zoom into a picture, you'll just see all these tiny wee blocks, and they are obviously pixels, and that just means for every single one of these pixels, we're requiring 16 bits to save each pixel, okay? So Two pixels would mean 32 bits. Now to work out, right, to actually work out this, what you'll do here is to work out the number of pixels, you'll basically just say you'd go 400 times 200. And then you times it by 16, and that gives you the number of bits. Okay, so that would give you number of pixels, and you'd get a mark for that bit. And then this is your colour depth. Okay, and then what would happen? Obviously, you'd have your calculator and you'd go get rid of that, go and that's wrong. 400 times 200 and then times 16. So you times it, you don't divide it. So times 16, and that would give you 1, 1, 2, 8. So I need to have a wee look. And that's four zeros. Okay, so that's one two eight zero 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 zero, and that's in bits. Now that's far too large number to actually leave it like that. So what you'd have to do is we'll try and get another wee color there. Is what we'll do is we'll divide that by eight, and that will give you it in bytes. Okay, so if I just divide that number by eight, that's one six one six. 0, 0, 0, 0, and that's in bytes. Again, that's still far too big, so what we'll do is we then, if we divide, don't know what's going on wrong there, if we then divide that by 1024, okay, and if I need to divide that by 1024, this will give it in kilobytes, so that's 156.25 kilobytes. 156.25 five kilobytes. So you get yourself a mark for that, you then get a mark for times in it by the 16 and you get a mark for your final answer. Okay. As the units get bigger, that number will always get smaller. So think of two kilograms is two thousand grams. Okay, so that unit's getting smaller, that number's getting bigger and then vice versa. Okay? So that's the actual first type of question, so that's the easier one. Another type of question, I'll just go fill new, is, so we'll just say this is question two. So this is actually when they give you an inches, okay, so we say that's four inches by two inches, then they give the resolution, that might be 800 dots per inch, okay. So that we've got another wee stage that we need to do, and we'll just say that's 16 dots per inch colour depth. Right, so we've got an extra wee stage because we need to convert the inches into pixels just like the previous exercise. So what you'd actually do here is you would go 4 times 800 and again draw these wee diagrams when you're answering the questions and that's times 800. So to find the, uh, we'll just say, number of pixels, we'll just decode 4 times 800 and then multiply 2 times 800. Right, so that would be 3200, that's times 
1600. And then you multiply that by your colour depth. Okay, so what we'll do, and that'll give you, again, that'll give you in bits. So let's see, so 4 times 800. I'll just times it by 1600. Then I'll times it by 8. No, I won't. I'll times it by 1600. So I'll need to do this again. Bit of a pain. Right, then times it by 16. 8192. Okay, so that equals 8192. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's in bits. Okay, so you find the number of pixels which is there and then times, times it by the colour depth. So what we are now having to do is divide that by 8 and that will give you the number of bytes. So we go divide by 8, gives you the number of bytes. That's 102, sorry, I 1024 with 4 zeros. So that's 1024 and that's got 4 zeros and that's in bytes. We can then divide that by 1024 and that will give you in kilobytes. So that's divided by 1024, that's in kilobytes, so that's 10,000, so that's 10,000 kilobytes. This one's going to take a bit longer, and we divide that by 1024 as well. And 9.77, we'll just say. Okay, so that is equal to 9.77. And that equals 9.77, and that is in megabytes. Okay, so this one adds a wee bit extra complexity, as it were, because it actually gives you the physical size entries. So you just have to use this resolution times it by that, times it here as well, and then times them both together. Okay, don't just get that, times it by that, and then times it by that. That doesn't work, okay? So hopefully that's, there's the answer, just in case I've scrolled down too much, but that's essentially how you do these.